Well, I hope that answered lots of your questions that you have about topiary. But if you're like lots of the people that follow me on Instagram and YouTube, it may have only covered the surface. So if you want to do a deep dive into other kinds of topics, other kinds of plant material, um, just any other kind of topiary related topics in general, then I would encourage you to head over to YouTube and my Instagram channel and lindavotter.com. That would be great. I have one more category of topiary topiary to show you, and that is dead topiary. I have lots of boxwood, I've got lots of myrtle, I have way too much topiary in general, but dead topiary may be historically my biggest category. And I show you these so that you'll know that it's okay. Topiary is just an experimental hobby. It's fun to work with. Like anything, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. And I encourage encourage you to just try it despite the risks. I have loved all of these topiaries. It's now past their time. They're going to serve me in the compost pile, but don't in any way um, keep it from intimidating you from trying this wonderful, fulfilling, gratifying, meditative gardening hobby.